Hi guys. We're out here today with Belle and she is a few months old and it's time for her to get her first uh, real good hoof trim. So we are going to really be patient with her and working through this and, and really trying to set her up not only for today certainly but for future trims. So this is one not a traumatic experience and, and certainly one where she's just really has, is calm and, and just realizes that it's not a big deal at all, okay? So what we have done, and we'll just review this a little bit, um, and this is my trusty assistant, Haley, you stay right here with me. We have done this with her and using the lead rope to get her to pick up her feet before, okay? So it's not like this is a total new experience of having her feet handled. It's just the first time she's really gonna get a trim, okay? So we've taught her to give to this, and she will hold her feet up by doing this for a relatively short time, okay? So we're gonna keep this reasonable as the attention span, thank, thanks for that, appreciate that, okay? The attention span is going to be rather short, okay? So we're gonna keep this within reason. But we've done that with the rope, we've asked her to bring the foot back, right? And she's decent with this. To me, if we haven't really taught this yet, there's no point in really trying to trim their feet. Now, of course, you can see Major, he knows once we uh, get the tools out, he's looking for that treat, right? But, Gwen. All right, so we're going to start with this pick, and I'm just going to be relatively quick, okay? We're just going to use this in shorter increments, and really just, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I don't want to start this in a battle, so we'll just bring your foot down. When she relaxes, we'll put the foot back down, okay? And, and we'll really just keep working through this to let her know that, hey, you don't need to, certainly don't need to panic, which she's not, but I'm not trying to make this, right, a negative experience. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're gonna remember, as I always say, we use pressure to teach a horse, right? But it's the release of pressure they actually learn from. Good, so she relaxed there again. So I put that foot back down. And it's so often we have to keep in mind when we're working with horses. We're not training or the objective of, yeah, we gotta get the feet trimmed. But I'm looking at the objective long-term is teaching her pick how to relax, work through those things that she might be a little bit worried about, right? And at the same time, we're building a tension span, right? All of those things are objectives to this. Wait, wait, she's a little tight there. Wait, asking her to think through this, right? Wait, there, there's a softening. We'll put it back down, right? One of my favorite mottos is always working with horses is this will take as long as it takes, right? The objective Yes, we're getting their feet trimmed, but the objective should, more should be teach a horse to work through potential issues and thought processes that she might have. Pick, pick, good girl. All right, so we'll just run the rasp on it a little bit here. Just kind of even in this off. Wait, wait, there we go. Wait. Sorry guys, doggy. This is not gonna be the trim for Lots and lots of material. It's not really a lot to take off. She has been, well, she lives out in the pasture pretty much 24 seven. Although she gets handled, well, she's been out in the pasture. So it's not like there's lots and lots of foot to take off, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait till she relaxes. Down, there it is. Let her down. Got a girl, got a girl. So now I'm actually, I've got the bottom off. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Rounding off these edges. Right. There's not a lot of shaping or anything that needs to be done with this. Whoa. And Haley's just gonna let her sniff. Let her say hi, let her explore. When she relaxes, good. First foot complete. How's that going? Good, thanks, appreciate it. All right, Haley, we swap over. We'll do this other front. And same process. Now we're remembering, this is a total different foot. So although she was doing pretty good with that other foot, well, we're not gonna take for granted that this will be the same, right? It's the other side, other side of her body. 
It's the other side of the brain. There. And Haley has been working really well with this filly, doing things like picking these feet and picking them, picking them out and handling them. Come on. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting for you to relax. She's a little tight there. Let's let her down. Go on. We're rewarding, as I always say, reward the try. Right? She's trying pretty hard, so I'm going to let her know. Thanks. I'm not going to be greedy and push too much. Right? Now, also, to note, notice where I'm asking her to pick her feet up. The chestnuts right here, I squeeze that. That's what I like to teach my horses to pick their feet up with versus grabbing the bottom of the leg. Just a preference for later on when they're wearing boots, whether you're putting shipping boots or the protective sport boots on, I don't want them to pick up their foot every time they feel pressure down on that pastern bone just when they get that chestnut squeezed. Just trimming a little bit of frog off here. Wait, wait. Easy. Okay, so a little bit of... I want her to relax. Relax. Keep her head this way at me, Haley. When she relaxes, I'll put that foot back down. There. I don't want her getting the idea that she needs to yank that foot away. I've got the raspberry. I want her getting the idea that this is really not a big deal. Pick. Good girl. Tapping on that foot a little bit. This will set her up in the future. In okay, case she ever gets shoes on. Whoa. Whoa. Hard little feet from being out in that pasture. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Keep her head in towards me. Haley. That a girl. Taking a little even, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna let her get back down because she was relaxed. Pick it back up again. And you notice we are doing this with mama, right? Right next to her so she can draw on that security. As I said, she's not weaned yet. Whoa, whoa. It's all about keeping that horse comfortable as far as not trying to get too far forward or pulling this foot back. Anything like that. There, make sure those heels are even. Okay. Now, bring it this one forward, right? We did that with the other foot. That's your good girl. We just haven't done it with this foot yet. Pick. Thanks. Appreciate that. Is getting a little bit of a, this foot's belling out just a little bit, flaring out. We're just shaping that up. And really, if we get on this, teaching not only, easy, easy, keep your head in towards me. Wait there, baby. Wait there, baby. If we really get on this as far as the shape in the foot, oh, that's relaxed. Love it. Nice job. Teaching her to relax and getting that foot growing just the way we'd like. Okay, there's the front, right? Now, one of the tips I try to tell people when the horse is being trimmed, the, the holder, person holding the horse, should be on the same side as the person trimming the horse, okay? Reason being, if you have this little baby or a big horse and they go to pulling away, we're both on the same side. If we're on opposite sides, and something was going a little funky, somebody could be getting hurt, right? Okay, so on this, when we're picking up, we're teaching, okay, and, and she, Belle has had this um, done a little bit, but if we're teaching a horse to pick up their feet and we're not sure about how they're gonna act to that, we're gonna use, if we're on the horse's right side, we're gonna use our outside hand, okay? So even, in, which I'm not worried that she's gonna kick, but if I was, this keeps us cleared out a little bit, okay? Whoa. Whoa, there, she relaxes, so that's when I let her down. Right? I don't want to teach her and remind her, whoa, that it's okay, right? It's okay. Notice, a little bit of tension there, down. Okay, I don't want her to panic just because her feet are being touched. 
wanted to work through this, right? And that horse's instincts, they know that if their feet are trapped in something, it's really bad, okay? So we gotta really work through that pick. Oh, good girl, good girl. And again, we have done the same thing that I showed with the front feet. We have done that with her hinds as well. Staying in tight here. Work through it. There and down. Go girl. All right, it's all about training for the future. It's not about right now. Yeah, I'd like to get the feet, foot trimmed, but it's about training for the future and teaching her this isn't a big deal. All right, pick. Oh, good girl. Oh, see, he's getting better. If we're always working on this con these types of concepts with our horses, right, whatever we're doing with them, I just want my horse to think it's not a big thing. It's just the next thing, no matter what that is. Okay, okay. I'm going to slide in here a little bit. Oh, just hold that. Just hold that. Down. Good. We'll practice this again. Pick. Now I'm not so worried about her kicking. So we're skipping the steps. <laughs> oh. Now the FedEx truck's just pulling in right now. The doggies are barking. And all of that is this is life around here, right? This is life. Oh, there's a little bit of tension. She feels that hoof pick probably on that foot. Whoa. We're waiting for her to relax here. Try to get that foot back down underneath. And yes, I trust this mare, so I'm not worried. Haley, try to keep that face in towards me, right? Hand down. Good girl. Right? And this will take as long as it takes. There's no rush here. If we were to get impatient and make this a big deal, right, we just make it a big deal. Does that, does that make you feel better? Okay, we'll ask again here. Pick. Slide in. Whoa. Now, if Haley, you just keep bringing her. Ask her to face back and look at me. Whoa. Bring this foot back down. Whoa. Keep, why, you gotta get on the same side as me, remember? Whoa. There, so she stopped, let her down again. We're, there's learning going all around, right? Teaching your assistants. Same time we're teaching the horses. Pick. I have a pretty good assistant, so. Whoa. 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 Trying to get this foot down as low as I can to keep her the most comfortable. There. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Oops. Boy, his feet are hard. Good. Whoa. All right, that was pretty good. I'm gonna let her go back down. Where'd my rasp go here? Where'd I leave that, Haley? There it is, over here. It's a good excuse to let her stand there for a minute. Whoa. You gotta get out of here, Glenn. You make it tough to see. Pick. Thank you. But try to keep her low. Right? Really the first time she's felt the sensation and the vibration of that raft. So we're going to put her back down again because she did awesome there. Good girl. Have it. Pick. Good. She worked through it that time. She got a little tight, but she worked through it. Now, typically with these hinds, I would bring this foot, I would bring this back foot up, right, pick up like this and round up those toes. Due to her size and how small she is, and I, there's not really a lot of work there, I'm not gonna do that with her yet, okay? She's doing so good. But that's that foot. Now I'm gonna start basically back to, to, to scratch here, going to the, to the left hind. Not gonna take anything for granted here, okay? We're still gonna come back to the, 
outside hand, right? So I'm facing towards the back of the horse, outside hand. That gives me clearance if the horse was gonna kick out a little bit. But again, we've done the steps of the rope, so I'm not that concerned. But I'll ask you to pick, pick. Good. Easy. I'm waiting for her to relax. There it is. And back down. And this will take as long as it takes. Okay, ask her again. Pick. Oh, good girl. Good girl. She's softening in. I can feel it in her whole body. She's nice and relaxed. That's what we're looking for. Good girl. Ask her again. Pick. Oh, good girl. Now slide in. Pick, picking out a little bit. I just think you found a snack there. And down. Not up to your inspection. Sorry, Major. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy. Pick. Notice these horses are used to dogs. Whoa. They're gonna ride with dogs. In fact, those of you who watch the videos have seen, whoa, whoa, have seen Bell out on trail rides with the dogs. That's the way we like it. Because that's just part of life. You guys ever notice? Pretty much anyone who has, look out. I'll wait till she softens here. Pretty much anybody that has horses has dogs. So that's just life. Got a girl. So she needed to pick. Just stand for a minute. Right, we don't want to cause worry or concern with her. Good. Wait, wait till she relaxes. There it is. Down. Good girl. Keep her head in here. Come on. Got her? Again, the same time, first time she's felt the vibration on this foot, she's handling it awesome. Really, I think the biggest reason is because we've taken the time down and we haven't rushed those other feet, right? So although it's the different side of her body or her brain, excuse me, and things, good girl, it's all cumulative, right? We're trying to do this for the long term not just the short term. Oh, that a girl. So we're asking her to stand a little bit longer. I'm almost done here. But if she was really worried, we would regroup this. We could even put her foot down. Whoa, almost done. As soon as she relaxes here, there it is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Spoke too early. Yeah, down, down. So this is really the completion of her very first trim. She did awesome, right? I'm really happy with that. So notice we put a couple steps in play. We've got mama here. She can really gain some security from that. We have worked with this horse, right? We've done the steps ahead of time. So this horse didn't have any reason to panic, right? Belle had no worries. She trusted us. We've earned that with her, right? But through all of this, we're just trying to set her up for the future, right? Trying to set her up for success. Making this, again, not a big thing, just the next thing, okay? So for Belle, Haley, you say hi. Hi. I'm Luke Reinbold. Thanks for coming along for this lesson. We'll see you down the road.